We're going to get the day started off right with our Zag Men. Yeah. Coverage continue, continuing, I should say. The Zag Men take the court tonight in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And Derek Dice is with the team in Buffalo, New York right now. He joins us live. And Derek, this is not going to be an easy game. No, it certainly won't. And as you guys know, in the NCAA tournament, anything can happen. We saw it yesterday with upsets by Old Dominion, Ohio U, and even Murray State. So even though this is an 8-9 matchup, a lot of people are thinking it could go either way. And as we've been saying all week long, it could come down to the Zags offense versus FSU's defense. Of course, they're led by Chris Singleton, a six foot nine uh, forward who is the ACC's defensive player of the year. And of course, there's the big man in the middle from Nigeria, seven foot one Solomon Olavi. He blocks 74 shots this season. That's an average of about two and a half per game. And he disrupted many, many more shots for the Seminoles. But Gonzaga says they need to go right at the big fella. He's the Nigerian nightmare. That's what, what we'll call him because he's been blocking shots and whatnot. And so we just need to come in and go at him. He's athletic. He moves his feet well. Um, he can definitely jump a lot higher than I can, so um, it'll probably be a little different than playing me, but I've been trying to do my best in practice to simulate that for him. And alluding to that point that Will Foster was making, the Zag said having him in practice every day kind of gives them that semblance of playing against someone like Solomon Alabi, uh, so they don't think they'll be too intimidated by the big fellow in the middle for FSU, guys. Hey, Derek, what do you think the Zags have to do to win to break that defensive pressure? You know, I think they just got to play their game. They're, they're so good at – Gonzaga's always been a terrific rebounding team, which allows them to get up, get out and run and play their up-tempo style. Uh, and if they can battle on the boards like they've done pretty much all season long, then they can play their style of game and get this in more of the high 70s to 80s rather than in the high 50s or low 60s like Florida State would like to play it.